What's up guys, we're gonna build beats today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make dynamic guitar patches in Omnisphere. If you guys haven't subbed already or turned post on these on, make sure you do so because it does help the channel out a lot. Let's hop right into it. So first things first, you open up Omnisphere. What you need to do is initialize the patch. It's usually already initialized, but just so we're starting at the same point here, let's go to utility, initialize patch. Click that, click okay. All right, and everything should reset. Okay, you see everything on my reset. Let's go to A. So first things first, we're gonna do the, the sounds. I'm gonna kind of split up so it's easier to follow rather than just going all the way through. So we're gonna do sounds, effects, and then we're gonna do whatever else we need after that. So let's go to A, let's go to sample. So now we need to find a sound. Now we, the goal here is to find sound, tones that match a guitar's tone, I guess. Click here. Now, very, very important. This is the most important part. Go to directory, click here and make sure it's set on core library. I have mine on default, so I so I won't forget, but this is very important, especially if you're trying to like sell or you're trying to share it with somebody. All right, um, this is just to make sure everything is compatible. All your sounds are compatible. If it's not compatible, that means they cracked Omnisphere. That's pretty much, or they didn't update. One of the two, but this is just to make sure you're okay on your end, okay? So core library. Now, um, let's look for some tones. So some keywords would be like organic, bold, guitar strings, um, plucked, picked, fingers, stuff like that. Anything that has to do with guitars. All right, so click here, we could type in like, and I think we need to press this. Yeah, type in organic. All right, and that's another thing. If you can't type in here, make sure you turn this on. This allow you to uh, record your keystrokes from your keyboard. Um, and then you can turn it off if you want to play a sound. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off so we can play a sound. I'm just go through. I kind of want something like this. Let's go ahead and favorite that. So let's use this. So now we need to shape this sound. So we can go here. Now, usually with guitars go like up here, all right, on this side, because when you go over here, it gets like rounded off. It sounds like it's rounded off a little bit, but I like the sharp sound, like something like that. Now, with our envelope, I like to turn the sustain down, turn this release up a bit, and you can mess with the decay. You just turn the decay up like that. But so it kind of fades out. All right, and then we can add a, you don't need this, but I just do this anyway. You go to turn on the filter, go here, and then you can just kind of pick any filter. And you can't see the one I'm picking right now because it's off the screen, but um, it's called LPF Juicy, I think 36 dB, right? Yeah, there you go. So this is the one, now you should turn this knob up a bit. Okay, and this is just to prepare it for our next sound. All right, so let's move on to B. All right, so now we're on B. So let's go ahead and go to sample, click here. And then another we can use, we can use like, let me see, we can, you can type in string or string guitar, anything like that. So let's actually turn this on so that we can type. Search. Make sure we turn this off so we can kind of hear what we want. That's a really nice one, but that's not what I'm really going for. All right, I like that one. I'm gonna save it. Now let's go in here and what we're gonna do is put a filter over it and we can use like this one right here. Turn it up and let's go to our envelope. Same thing, pull it up. You really mess with this to change the sound. I'm gonna keep it right there. I kind of like that. So I think that's all we need for this one. So now we can just go ahead and move on to C. 
All right, so now we're on C. So by default, this is a base patch. So it's gonna be set to negative 12. So you need to reset that to zero. Go to sample, go in here, make sure you load up for a library. Now with these, I like to use reverse sounds. So I type in reverse most of the time, um, especially with like pianos and guitars and stuff. Go to reverse. And really, I just try to like do the luck method. I just click random ones, okay, you know. Let's play. Okay, I like that one. Let's save it. Now, I think that's all we need to do um, because what we're going to do is just modify a lot of these. And usually with the third sound that I use, I usually put like a lot of delay on it or um, something um, so that it's kind of like pushed to the side. So, I don't think I'm going to turn this down a little bit, kind of mix it just real quick. All right, so that's it for C. So now we're gonna do the effects and we're just gonna do all the effects in one. Okay, so for this, let's go to effects and to mute everything else, you can just click this like blue line and we're just gonna mute it so we can hear everything here. So I'm gonna use a Vintage 3 band EQ for this, so like 100. Turn that down. Turn these mids down so that it doesn't clash too much with our main sound. Go here and just turn it up. Now, another effect that we're gonna use is we can use the chorus. Now, any one of these works, I'm just use ultra chorus because you don't have to do much. Go to sign, put on lush, and usually just turn the depth down a bit. All right, pretty simple. Um, get You get creative with these and try to mix and match some. Um, let's go to effects and what we can use is just a vintage compressor and i usually just put this on any sound that i'm like that has similar frequencies so like the a and b sound their guitar frequencies pretty much i usually just put put a compressor on one of them so that it kind of controls it a little bit um but you don't need it i just put it on there out of habit so let's go to b and we have to turn b on and then turn a off all right now this is our main sound. Now I'm gonna use another EQ for this one. Um, just so I can see different EQs. You can use any one of these. Let's just use this one. I'm just trying to improve the sound. I think that's good enough. Let's put a chorus on this again. And go same one. Uh, we could really just leave it default. I don't really like the depth too much. All right, simple as that. Again, you can use whatever you want, but I'm gonna try to use some different ones on the C. Actually, probably gonna need to use some different ones. So let's turn that one on. All right, and we can actually use inner space. Let's go to creative, inner space. And there's a lot of effects here. And depending on the combos you get, you might get something that sounds really good. So I usually use scatter and space. So we can go to scatter and try to find, um, let's just say, let's just pick one. Let's go to grains, just use thin rice. Um, how does that sound? All right, so it's very airy. Let's try to put another one. Go to space, try to fuse, and let's just try, this one looks grasshopper. Now let's just stick with grasshopper, just to save some time. Um, grasshopper, and I don't usually turn this up all the way, usually just keep it like half or 25% or something.
Okay, so now I'm using my favorite delay for this is the radio delay. I usually leave it as default. Um, but if I'm using bells, I usually put on like one fourth or one half for the right one. But for this one, we could just leave it like this and I usually turn it all the way up um, for like background texture or stuff like like the sound we're using now. All right, make it sound really ambient and let's use a, another EQ, just use this one. And what I like to do is just turn these down so it doesn't clash with our first sounds. And I like to boost those higher frequencies so you can kind of hear everything. All right, so last thing on common, I usually put a delay or if the sound is too loud, usually with bells, um, they're really, really loud. So you have to um, put a compressor, but I'm not gonna do that because we have more ambient stuff. So we can just throw on a delay and I usually use like a three times delay and turn it down really low. Maybe even lower than that. Turn on everything. Now we just need to mix it a bit. Okay, so that is the effect. So now the last thing we're gonna do is mess with the ARP. Now the last thing that we need to do is use the ARP. Now this will make your guitar pretty much play by itself. Um, so what we can do is adjust this fader, like fade this out a little bit like that now you can change this link but i usually just keep it one through four all right let's turn it on and a lot of people just use like one half one fourth one eighth stuff like that um i usually use like one sixteen triplet for this effect okay you can experiment with different ones and get different sounds um but uh the ones that i use is repeat times four now this will make it like play by itself And I just have some basic, basic, basic chords here. So if you had like a full melody, just sound a lot better. You can mess around. Right, you can. Right, but I'll just put it on uh, repeat times four. I just like the sound. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video for the sound design. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.